thought I was gonna rip. That was weird. Um, <laughs> I was able to have a returning client come in, DJ Colin. He is super awesome. He definitely DJs in our shop, but he's been a client of mine since at the old shop. We've been working on a lot of stuff on his arm, a lot of patchwork that's really significant to him. So we were able to add some more to his patchwork sleeve. There are different topographical maps of the places that he has backpacked. So he was able to add one down on his wrist area, one up on the back of his elbow, and then one on the front of his uh, arm, ditch, forearm, that area. And so it's really cool to see all that, especially because it's such an organic shape once you start getting all that stuff in with all the lines of the topographical map. I also had a returning client, lots of returning clients coming in, which is super awesome, super excited for that. But she wanted to do a, a I had another floral wrap around the ankle, but hers said me too in French, so it was moi aussi. And she wanted it very subtle in there, just kind of flowing together, and she wanted to put that in there. So she had something to remind her of everything that she's been through in life and make it very simplistic, but super pretty for her. Mmm, food. Mmm. Ah. open. Can I open? Cut it out. Real good food for you. Hey. Say hi, Devin. Hey, Devin. Wait, what? <laughs> Following that, we did the three little dragons going up this girl's back. It was her first tattoo. It was very, very lovely to do first time tattoos all the time. I love doing them. Uh, her dad joined us for the tattoo. It is from a book that they used to read together when she was little. So we got to knock out a very sentimental piece for her and dad could be there for the whole thing, which was really nice. Got to do another coworker tattoo. Always, always a gift when I get to tattoo my friends. So we decided to do these four Valkyrie ladies going up my coworker Eric's arm. It was actually a very challenging piece for me right at first. I kind of wanted to cry. Uh, he's got a scary face. Uh, so step by step, right? Work in the line work first, and then we're gonna go back in and doing the shading later. So it's just like one bite at a time on a piece like that. Ended up taking us, I think, 14 hours, but we managed to finish almost the entire thing in one night, which was a long time. But it was actually very rewarding, and I feel like I learned a lot from that tattoo. It's fun to have someone who pushes you, and I, sometimes I don't always have that on the little, the little butterfly tattoos. So it was nice to kind of break out of my comfort zone a little bit and get to do it on someone who I'm gonna see every day. The other two tattoos I had this week were a few walk-ins. One of them was a Pinterest tattoo of mountains. Yeah, we had fun with it. Pretty simple. Ran a seven round liner on it, shaded it out a little bit. Looked pretty good. The other walk-in that I had this week was a Harry Potter themed tattoo, the Deathly Hollows. We did always using the symbol as an A. So quick banger, got in and out, had a good time with it and yeah, turned out like a pretty good piece. As always, I love doing lettering. We did the word gospel, which is very personal to me. My family actually started a church out in Boulder about 120 years ago, so that's great to do those kind of tattoos. Yeah, as always, I mean, if we have a second of spare time, it's always great to practice your fundamentals and your skills. So this week I chose to do like a little squirrel on a pile of nuts that basically says, love man less, but nature more. And I mean, I feel like that's something personal to everyone just because we need to make sure that we're loving our planet just as much as we're loving each other. When I say I have a lot of designs up for grabs, I literally mean that I have everything from the perfect little Buddha with spray cans in his hands and perfect peace with the world, all the way to Greek sleeves for both men and women and little flower designs, everything you can imagine. Get the out of my face, Hector. So here at Sharky's Paradise, I finally got to do my first anime piece. Thought that that was so awesome. I got to do the almighty Shenron from Dragon Ball Z on a man's forearm. And oh my god, I'll tell you this much, it's truly a blessing to tattoo anime just because I grew up watching it as a kid and now the fact that I'm tattooing it on people and it's lasting for life is just amazing. It was just so much fun just to get back to my roots and everything.
So this week I had a man come in and he wanted an Iron Man tattoo. Not what you think, I know. Tony Stark, I wish, I wish, one day. But I thought this tattoo was really cool because it was a trophy tattoo almost. So the Iron Man is this triathlon event that this man had completed. After you finish, most people get the tattoo done on their leg, and uh, that's what we did this week. So I thought that was awesome to give him, you know, an accomplishment after what he had already done. I thought that was just incredible. So this week at Sharky's Paradise, I had a returning client that I had recently done when I was tattooing out of my house. Big shout out, Samantha. She this time wanted to go for another crazy piece. Her first piece was underneath her chest this time it was on her ribs and then it was an original design i did it was some barbed wire uh, thorns that were uh, holding these two bird skulls on it so i thought that was like kind of creepy she kind of wanted that little creepy style so it was nice to give her something that she you know definitely wanted got to do another tattoo on another artist in the shop. Hector let me do another anime tattoo on him and that was really fun because I really got to practice my stipple shading and that's now one of my favorite techniques to do is the stipple shading. I think it's really fun and I'm excited to do more like that. That looks so good, Chelsea. Yeah. Yes, a girl came in the, sh the shop and she apparently saw portfolios and she liked my work. It's great, it's a great feeling when like someone says, hey, I saw Alex's portfolio. I wanna get tattooed by her and I'm like, oh, thank you. I don't know if I will ever get rid of that feeling, but yes, it's great. She wanted just like a cross negative space on this part of the arm and with flowers. This client gave me the choice with the flowers and they were amazing, uh, in the, it, it ended up really good. Thanks for your support again. And she got a little baby, so cute. She came over and say hi with her husband. It's great to just meet people that, you know, have real lives. Yeah, so we did a finisher sleeve it was beautiful, lots of work, lots of color. She did great that day too. I can't wait to like kind of see her after it heals and maybe have some touch ups or anything. So it was pretty much two sessions. The second and last session, I hope I have another like touch up time with her, but yeah, we finished colors, we finished little details, we finished gray wash, everything pretty much. I could see some line work healed and I was pretty happy with it. And yes, she loved it. I can't wait to just do more sleeves. I learned a lot from that tattoo though. So I can't wait to just tattoo every day, every time. And thank you Jennifer for your support. So, the other day, Sam came in, she say uh, she wanted to have like whatever I wanted. And I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? So I show her a little bit, I ask her, so do you like like maybe snakes? She's like, oh yeah, I actually have a snake. And I was like, great, and I love flowers. Awesome, let's do this one. She was a little nervous because of a previous situation that happened with her, but after that, she was amazing. She was super happy with the tattoo. It was super good. As far as permanent makeup goes, I had a really cool client come in. She actually ended up getting her eyebrows done and then she asked me about lash enhancement. So we did lash enhancement. And then she came back the next week and we touched up a really old tattoo that she had on her ankle and I fixed the cross in it. It was just like an old Jesus fish with the cross. Um, she had it done when she was really young and then I ended up doing her lip blush as well. That was really neat. Super excited to participate in the convention coming up, Villain Art Show. Stay tuned, that'll be coming up soon. It's always a good time. We got some good pieces planned for that. This is a beautiful opportunity for people, especially these young artists in our shop, to really get a measure as to where they stand in the grand scheme of things. Show this week!
All right, so we uh, wanted to take a second to introduce our family a little bit here. This is the lifeblood of what we got going on and the whole reason that we're doing this. So right now we got the youngest, Allie, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Woo, yeah, right here's my beautiful daughter, Allie. She is killing, can we get a little flex? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you see the muscles? We also got young Axel, come on down. This young man right here, he's got the power of his power hair right here. He's also a ninja in training, and how many stripes on your jujitsu belt? Five stripe jujitsu practitioner. Let's get a flex. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. And then we've got the cornerstone and the boss of the entire kids clan here, young Miss Chloe. Chloe dog, come on down, Chloe dog. All right, right here, if you have any questions about what we have going on in our life or our family or what direction you should be headed in your life, please continue to ask Chloe because she will definitely tell you what's up. All right, and last but not least, we got Python and Viper coming on in. We got Cliff and Tayden right here. The boys, the boys, come over here. Can we get a little family flex here? Get a little family flex, flex that's right. <laughs> All right, more importantly, we just want to make sure that you guys all know that this is our lifeblood. This is the reason that we do all this, and I hope that you guys have something similar in your life that motivates you guys. All right, guys, we appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure to check out all of our social medias. Thanks for following our art. Thanks for following our channel. Can't wait to see your guys' faces again at the shop. Can't wait to see new faces and some old ones. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out, as well as get some designs in place and get some tattoos rolling. I look forward to catching you guys next week again. We're so appreciative of everybody out there who shows support to our family and shows support to our business and all the people within our business. So at the end of the day, thank you so much for all your support and thank you so much for the, for the opportunity to be able to do the things we do for you. Love you guys. Be, be sure, sure to like, like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. To what? To Sharky's Paradise. Sharky's Paradise. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>